Welcome back to another episode of How to Play Kendama. I am your host, Bonzatron, and today we are going to be learning the Tight House. So the Tight House is very much like a lighthouse. Exactly the same thing, except instead of landing on the Tama, we are going to be landing on the string. And I know that may sound a little bit ridiculous, but it is possible. And with these tips and tricks in immense amount of practice, you will be able to do this trick as well. I'd say the most important part to landing a tight house is getting the proper grip on the Tama. For me, that is the string facing out to the left at a perfect horizontal plane with my fingers just wrapped around the equator. And then as I'm pulling up that lighthouse, I just sneak my pointer finger around the front and push my thumb into my pointer finger, getting a nice solid grip on that string so I have as much control as possible. From there, the biggest pro tip I can give you is once you land the lighthouse up on the string, to kind of slightly, ever so slightly, push the tama and your left hand together, giving just the ever so slightest amount of slack. For me, that helps me get into the balance and helps me hold it there longer. If it's just got the ever so slight slack, I can kind of get it in there and it rocks a little bit like a swing back and forth. And you only have to worry about one direction, opposed to if it's pulled very tight, it can kind of wobble around all different directions. So that's pretty much the biggest tip I can give you. Other than that, just grind it out, grind, grind, grind. Keep your eyes focused on the tip of the spike and just try and keep it up there. And yeah, every second counts and the longer you get, the better you're gonna get at this and just keep plucking away. It's a very difficult trick, but if you keep practicing, you will get it. The last pro tip I can give you is to just create some consistency and some muscle memory as to where you are pulling up the lighthouse and where it's landing on the string. For me, that is with the string hole facing in towards my body and the cups parallel to my chest. If you're feeling super saucy and you've managed to get that tight house up on there and you're getting them balanced out, here's a couple variations you can go and challenge yourself with. enjoyed this episode of how to play Kendama. I hope you guys learned the trick and please be sure to hit that follow button. Come back for more videos. We got tons of tutorials so make sure to check them all out. Learn all the tricks and be sure to check the link below and check our website for all sorts of crazy Kendamas coming at you all the time. We will see you in the next tutorial. Much love and peace out.